All right, so as promised, uh, Catholic Church. Well, turns out they're fucking everything under the sun, man. Now, of course, there was the disastrous child sex scandal, which is like, oh my God, how could you possibly? And they covered it up so tremendously, too. And it, how can, how can one do that and sleep at night? I mean, the systematic fucking of children is what we're talking about. That's what actually happened. Well, now the scandal is growing. So as you know, uh, Pope Benedict, blah, blah, Benedict is going to step down. And, uh, you know, he said, oh, yeah, it's because my back hurts and my eye, this and that, and I got agita, yada, yada, whatever. Uh, no, turns out it's got nothing to do with any of that. Turns out uh, it's probably due to, number one, there's an HBO documentary. I don't know if it came out or if it's coming out about uh, sex, the whole sex scandal in the church and the criminal cover-up, et cetera. And I don't know if, if he in some way was implicated in a strong way in that movie. I mean, we already know that he covered it up, but did he do something worse? Did he maybe, was he involved with sex with kids also? I don't know, right? So whatever's in that documentary, probably scary. One of the reasons he's stepping down, but also there's more stuff being uncovered now. So we learned about the I think it was an archbishop in L.A. who was involved in a cover-up. Uh, now, we learn today that a big-time anti-gay Catholic official, a guy by the name of Cardinal Keith O'Brien of Scotland, right? Well-known guy in the church, super high position as the top official in Scotland. He has stepped down as the senior most official in Britain. And he was so vehemently anti-gay that he actually won the Bigot of the Year award from a gay rights group called Stonewall. And in fact, he literally waged war on gay marriage last year. Like, officially, he declared, I am going to wage war on gay marriage. And he described it as a grotesque subversion and all these different things. And so uh, it turns out he's gay. Who didn't see that coming from a mile away, man? Uh, he's alleged to be... Uh, engaged in inappropriate behavior with priests over the past few decades. In fact, the full details of the allegations are not yet known, but one priest alleges that O'Brien had an extended relationship with him that resulted in the need for long-term psychological counseling, and others acknowledged unwanted sexual contact. It always happens, man. Anybody who's vehemently anti-gay is always super gay. It happens time and time again. It's inevitable to not come to that conclusion. But also, this isn't even the worst of it, right? So we're just getting news of this today. But also, there's two separate Italian newspapers reporting on the fact that uh, there are groups of male gay prostitutes that are, uh, I don't know if blackmailing is the right word, but they're basically telling the Catholic Church, we're going to come out with our story of how you guys systematically had sex with us. I, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. And look, maybe at one point it was a fair thing to say, look, don't blame the whole institution for, you know, rogue individuals within the institution. But at this point, you can't say that because the numbers are staggering. I mean, it was a worldwide scandal, a worldwide cover-up, the systematic fucking of children and abusing of children, raping of children, molesting of children, and, you know, then shuffling the priests around from different area to different area. And now we're also learning, okay, there's not just pedophiles, there's also just regular gay priests who are having sex with the gay prostitutes. In, and not just in, like, you know, on, an, on a regular night, like, oh, hey, let's get a prostitute. They do it systematically. Like, there were sex parties. <laughs> You know, I, I, I forgot who originally came up with the joke, but whoever did said it best. Uh, why should we be surprised that men wearing extravagant jewelry and dresses with flamboyant colors hanging out in groups are gay? It seems like the most obvious thing ever. That's but the power of culture, man. You know, everybody gave them this arbitrarily high status. Oh, the priest is here! Oh my God, the Pope! And they're all so men of the cloth. Holy, holy, holy. Yeah, not holy. 
No such thing as holier than thou. They're human, and that line of work, which gives you access to kids, etc., was a line of work that attracted some very, very bad predatory people. And it's all crumbling down now. The question is, how much will it affect attendance? And that's something that I'm very, very curious to see.